Yeah, right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're working on the uh, 1.8T big turbo. This is on the Mark One Octavia. If you've been following along, I've just been chipping away at the uh, minor problems that the car had, and we've come on to today's problem, which is the car is losing boost at high load and high RPM. And I've also noticed from the uh, mass sensor videos, link in the video description to them, that the mass sensor signal is also seems to be pegged at higher RPM. It's pegged at about 4.4 volts. So I'm thinking there's a restriction in there somewhere. I've looked at the turbo compressor map for the K04064 turbo. And from what I can tell, this turbo can hold uh, 1.5 bar of boost, should be able to do 1.5 bar of boost until redline on this engine, absolutely no problem. So I don't believe the turbo is the issue. So the next thing on the hit list is the air filter. And that's what today's video is about, finding out if I've got an air filter restriction with this air filter. To find out if the air filter is a restriction, I've hooked up a uh, just a piggyback ECU and I've hooked up the boost port to the inside of the filter. And what I want to know is if there's a vacuum occurring inside this air filter at high RPM and high load. So we've got a boost pressure issue and we've also got a mass sensor issue so for me the only two things i can think of well the only one thing that could explain both of those things happening at the same time is there's some sort of restriction whether it's in the intake the intercooler piping or in the downpipe or the exhaust the easiest thing to find out is the air filter so that's what i'm going to test first and then if this doesn't turn out to be a problem we'll work our way through the system and uh, we'll come to a solution eventually so that's enough of the talking for now. Next thing to do is to go out onto the road and we'll do some data logs. I'll show you how we're measuring the MAF sing signal, how we're measuring the pressure or vacuum inside the air filter, and we'll see what exactly the problem is, if this air filter is a restriction or not. So this is what we've got, guys, with regards to the data logging. We've got RPM here. We've got a MAF sensor signal here. And what we want to be seeing is as uh, RPM increases, we want, at full throttle, we want the this yellow box here that's moving, showing what cell we're in, to go in this direction here. And here, on the data log side of things, so the green line here is the pressure or vacuum or neutral inside the air filter at the moment. So what we want to see at full throttle, full RPM, is for this line to stay where it is. If it starts to go down, then we know there's a restriction with the air filter, and that is the problem. So what we're going to do now is go out on the road and do a date log, see what happens to this. And actually, we can do it all on the same screen. So what I'll do here is I'll do this, and I'll do this, and now this is our math sensor signal. So we want this to sort of... Uh, to gradually increase as RPM increases. So here we go guys, I've got the uh, data log rolling, I'll put that on the screen when we're doing the pull. That's just up to 5,000, well, 6,000 RPM. So I'll stop the log there, and we can go back and have a look at that green line, because I can't do it at the moment because I'm driving, and we'll just see what happened. And let me see. So this is going to be, the black is uh, the MAF sensor signal. The blue is the RPM. The mass sensor goes all over the place here, so I suppose this must be the uh, blower valve between the gear changes. You can see that it's pegged at like 4.4, but we can also see that when we're at that full load, what RPM do we get up to? 5,800. So this was full on the math, but we can see that the air filter is not a restriction at all. It is a bang on up ambient pressure. So we can say from that little test there that the air filter is not a problem. The restriction is somewhere else. 
And something else I'd like to show you before we bring this video to an end is just what happens to this yellow box on the data log as we get into high RPM. So you can see what happens as we're building through the red rev range at full throttle and you can see the shape or the, the path that that yellow box takes. So let's do that now. the office now and uh, I'll have a look at it with you and we can see what's happening to that yellow box okay so I'll just replay it here while I've got it on the PC in front of me so we can see this is going to be the full throttle here and we can see that the the yellow box is going in this direction let me just rewind it a little bit so we've got the yellow boxes there and going in this direction increasing increasing and then it comes to about here and then it just starts to go up instead of going in this direction here indicates that the map is pegged and because of the boost pressure also slightly reducing the higher rpm those two things together leads me to believe there's a restriction and the math sensor just confirming that there is a restriction the amount of air going into the engine is not really increasing as rpm increases so the next step in this series of videos is to look at something else so it's either going to be the down pipe or the intercooler pipe in for this video the purpose was to see if the air filter was a restriction it's not so guys if you want to see the other videos in this series subscribe to the channel as always like the video hit that bell button very important look after yourselves until next time and i'll see you in the next video